Wow, it's really heckin' bright in here, so I'm squinting. Uh, let me show you why. So where we live has, like, all of these bright buildings around. And it's, like, it's cool because it's, like, a light box in my house, but, um, ow, my face. So anyway, uh, we're quarantined. Y'all know this probably. I am horribly depressed. That's not new to anyone. I was diagnosed when I was 14. I've come to terms with it. It's fine. We're good. Um, but like, aside from creating content for my OnlyFans, uh, I'm trying to see what else I can do and what I can include other people on to feel like we're having a good time. Um, and like, if you want to watch me get weird, head over there. It's $10 a month and I get real weird. Um, but mostly today I'm going to fill my bathtub with Orbeez. Um, we, <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen. It's probably just going to feel cold and slimy. Um, but it might just end up being a good time. So like, let's see the process. So this is my bag of Orbeez. Um, it says like two tablespoons per whatever amount of water and like I had no idea just how big they can get. And I know it takes a couple hours for them to expand so it's going to be a couple hours of just letting them sit there. Uh, occasionally filling them with warm water so that hopefully when I step in um, it's not horrible. Uh, but I'm anticipating it not being super, super fun for the most part. Maybe you're into sploshing. Maybe this will be a good time for you. Uh, but, um, let's just see what happens. Side note, I'm also really not looking forward to emptying them out of my bathtub after this. But, like, I'm not going to try to get a kiddie pool <laughs> in a quarantine. So, like, we're going bathtub. This is when I figure out where in the bathroom my lighting's okay. Um, but I just remembered that we haven't given Beaker a bath yet, and we need to do that. So uh, here's a little Beaker bath time interlude. Beaker! Beaker, come here! this tub holds but I'm starting small it's about a quarter of the way full we're gonna check in every like two hours or so see how they're doing see if maybe they need more water um, it's gonna be a good time about a half an hour and this is how big they've gotten they still have a ways to go I kind of wish that we had a second package just looking at them now but like they also end up getting way bigger, so we'll just see how it goes over the next couple hours. Alright, here is where we are now. So, I think they're probably about as full as they're gonna get without, like, sitting overnight. But I'm gonna give them, like, another hour. And then I'm gonna fill the tub with hot water because this water is gonna be cold. And we're gonna go for a dip. Okay, so we've let them sit for a couple hours and they've gotten pretty big. So one interesting thing about them being in the water is you can only see about half of them and the rest just like disappear. So this tub is actually a little bit more full than it looks, but we tried our best. So 
I'm gonna settle in. We set up for a nice little spa day. Got candles going. I have some wine here. This water's really hot because I refilled it with hot water to make sure that it wasn't fucking freezing when I stepped in. Standing on Orbeez is very strange. It's like standing on weird gummy bears. And I'm trying to like squish them to either side of my butt so that I am not sitting on them, but I'm sitting on them. And it feels, it's like boba. It feels like I'm sitting in bubble tea right now. I am human bubble tea. So seeing as how we have decided this is going to be some sort of spa day in my weird human bubble tea soup, and I need tear a soup. I, is that a greater question for the rest of the world? I'm not high enough for this. We could not get cucumbers at the store earlier, so we are doing our best to best imitate that spa stereotype. So can I have one of the things that we thought of? Hi, Beaker. Okay. 